Hey there ladies and gents, it's your boy Rock and welcome to Ukulele. Now this is a game I've been waiting for for quite some time, especially being a Banjo-Kazooie fan. I used to play that back in the day on the Nintendo 64. Talking like I'm real old, but I'm not. But um, yeah, it's made by the same team, or at least I know some people from Rare um, who did the Banjo-Kazooie game. And from what I've seen and from what I've heard, this is nothing different really, except for... Uh, I guess a reimagining of the series with different characters and all that good stuff. But anyway, let's get going. Of course, we're going to start a new game, game one. Everything has been prepared to your specifications, Captain B. The workforce is now yours. Hmm. Do you think this new statue is golden enough? Or too golden? Oh, it's, um... Focus testing. These employees need someone to look up to. Hold on, what is that? <laughs> That's the Vice President statue, sir. I didn't sign off on that. Plus it's casting an awkward shadow on the President's point, Bennett. Of course, you're the boss now. Now, are we ready to synergize your latest profit plummeting technology, Dr. Quack? Yes, sir. I've prepared the Novelizer 64, my most ingenious invention. We can use it to steal all the dusty old books in the world and leave us as the only player in the market. Equally ruthless and dynamic strategy, Doctor. I like it. Prepare the device immediately. I want to be on the world's fourth golf course by lunchtime. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. And Quack, make sure you secure the special book. Ah, this is the life. I think this old shipwreck finally feels like home, lately. That'll be my vi- I can't do that. That'll be my vibrant fake job, Yuka. It's about time we renovated this place. Most of the rooms we haven't been touched. We haven't, wow. Most of the rooms haven't been touched since we've moved in. Who knows what's hiding under those floorboards. Insects mainly. Delicious, they were. Oh, and some old book I've been using as a drink coaster. Or drinks coaster, however you want to say it. Whoa, pirate treasure. I bet that's worth loads. It looks antique. Really? Do you reckon we should flog it? I'll spl split you 80-20 in my favor. Hey! My profit book, 
it's being sucked away. The pages, they're escaping. And they're being, and they're golden. I think that book is a bit more special than you thought lately. Quick, after it. It's worth even more now that it's a flying book. Okay, so we get straight into some gameplay. And I have to excuse the horrible voice acting. I can't hit yet. I did play the toy box, so I do know the controls. But we can't do anything yet, of course. Why, look at that snake. Why is it wearing pants like that, though? Alright, pals. Lovely to see you. Hi there. I'm Yuka, and this is my buddy Laylee. Do we know you? Of course. It's me, Trouser. The honest and dexterous salesman. Yeah, I remember. You're the crook who sold us that dodgy flat screen. Nope, not me. You're surely mistaken, friend. Hey, Trouser. Did you happen to see a magical flying book go through? Here? Jeez, the text is like so slow. For five quills I did, they're in demand. Now this book business has kicked off. Perhaps you can find enough in those treasure chests lying around. I already tried lockpicking those while Yuka was asleep. No chance. Ah, to unlock them you'll need one of my trademark special moves. By using Square, our green friend here can perform the tail... I almost said tail swirl. Twirl... T wow. Tail twirl attack. It's smashing. Jeez, I cannot talk. Press square to attack. Got it. Excellent. Now go whack those treasure chests and bring me my five quills. Okay. So we can use the quills to purchase new moves. Nothing different here. There's only one quill in each box. You've got to be joking me. And you can't go up there. Okay, cool. Okay, I see one over here. Okay, check up here in this ship. Of course, there'd be one up here. There's one. Well, how do you even know? I'm all the way over here. Ah, yes, that seems to be enough to jog my memory. Come back here. I'm all right. Let me, let me see what's up here really quick. Okay, we can't get up here. I bet. Oh no, we can. What about behind? Ooh, we found a butterfly. I'm Tasty Butterfly Energy. Be nice and collect me to refill your power bar. So you want us to eat you. Okay. There's also a chest over there. Go on then, Lispy. Spill the beans. Where's our book? Your book headed toward the business beyond this gate. Let me look. Text. Strange things going on in there since the takeover by Hivery Towers Corp. I'm headed there myself to sell some moves. Allow me to raise the gate. Come 
Come on, Yuka. Let's get that book back before Trouser realizes we didn't give him those quills we found. Jesus. The guy doesn't eat the quills. Let's get through the gate. Really want to do some exploring. I see some stuff down there. Okay, I'm pretty, yeah, we can't get up here, of course. Ah, uh, step ahead of you. I already crouched. Look, I'm moving faster than the tutorial. Jeez. And we can't get up here. We shouldn't have even tried. What are those blue things up there? They even look shiftier than trouser. Maybe they're lost. Doubt it. If I were us and I am 50% us, then I'd attack them with square. Unlike those soft shooters, our health bars won't auto refill. Those soft shooters. Great, if they do attack us, I can always eat a nearby butterfly by pressing circle to regain some health. Okay, cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh. That looks so weird. No trespassing. This is private property. Hello, we're searching for our missing book. It looked like it went this way. Your book belongs to us now. As will most of the world's supply before long. Mwahaha. That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a bookmobile? Actually, it's just one book in particular we're interested in. Now, scram before I call security. I bet you won't do it, though. There's something not right about this place, lady. We should investigate. Let's do so. Oh, look, the front door just opened right up for us. And we're in Hivery Towers, all right. Hey friends, over here, why are you here? Lovely to see you again, pals. I see you got up to speed with your basic moves. You gave himself a short tutorial on the way in. Smashing. It's time to put your skills to work. I've spotted a piece of your book. So our book pages, I assume, are going to act like the Jiggies from Banjo-Kazooie. Why don't you go ahead and collect it and find out what's going on? I'd go myself, but I've got an important call coming in, or coming up with World 1 boss. He's after one of my super moves. Wow. Come on, Trouser, don't be that way. Yeah, right. All right, let's go get it. Can we hit this? Oh, we can't hit it. He doesn't want it anyway. Let's start our um, ascension up to this freaking piece. I 
don't think I have the flight yet. Let me see. Yeah, no, he doesn't fly yet. Or glide, rather. Ah, look, we got turning a pagey. Hello there. Who might you be? I'm a pagey. I live inside the all-powerful inside the all-powerful book. The one book? How much is one of those worth? The one book is incredibly powerful, and it's been stolen by the evil Capital B. If Capital B unlocks the power within, his crooked company will have the power to rewrite the universe. Really now. Lucky us pages have fled the one book and gone into hiding. Without pages, the one book is just an empty shell. If you use me to unlock one of the grand tombs in this factory, we can transport to another world and search for more of my friends. Don't worry, we'll help you, Pagey. Come on, Laylee. Let's find one of those grand tombs and search for more Pagey's. Hey, pals. I believe I can assist you on your quest. Why don't you come and see me for the details? All right, so let's go down and see uh, Mr. Uh, Slithery Snake. Okay. Say, you two chaps need to explore those grand tombs. And I'm looking to expand my business to new locations. How about we make a deal? For every grand tomb you unlock, I'll help your quest with a new move. Free of charge. That sounds like a good deal, Trouser. We're in. Super. Your first complimentary move is one of my trademark abilities. You hold down all oh, wow. If you hold down R2, you'll get the grip you need to roll up slippery ramps. Oh, cool. Okay. There's one note in the small print, pal. The longer you use this move, the more you'll drain your power bar. So roll wisely. Instead of eating butterflies, you can collect them to refill your power bar. Okay. Why don't you try your new trouser patented maneuver on that nearby slippery ramp? Okay. Is that it? Is that just... There's no name for the move? Oh, okay, nice. Thought you'd have to charge it up or something. Look lately, a pagey and a cagey and mazy. Uh-oh, trying to be a rapper. Trying to spit those bars. Help! Capital B's corporal, corporate minions locked me in this metal prison. These pamphlets sure are pushy. Come on then, tell us where the key is. There's no key. Cages are unlocked by solving nearby puzzles. But you've not yet learned the correct move to help me. Okay, Pagey, we'll come back for you later. Okay, then don't talk to me. That sounds so rude, don't talk to me. If I can't help you, then you're of no use. Hey, you made it to the first Grand Tomb. The Grand Tombs are magical gateways to New World. Ivory Tower seems to have captured many, but only us pages can unlock them for you. 
Stand on the switch, and if you have collected enough pages, we can help, or we can help, rather. We can unlock for you. Yeah, yeah. Then we go inside and rescue more of you, right? That's right. Once inside, don't forget to find Trouser. It sounds like those moves he sells will help you out in your adventure. It will cost one pagey to unlock this world. Do you want to unlock Tribal Stack Tropics? Uh, yeah. Return here later, and I'll reveal more about the Grand Tombs. Okay, so we can jump inside the book, and the adventure does begin. But I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Ukulele. If you enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? We're going to be playing more of this. Uh, I do have a question for you guys, Gil. Would you rather prefer the text being read or not? I know some people have a preference of whether it's read or not. It really doesn't matter to me. Um, I just want to know what you guys think, uh, whether I should or shouldn't. I'll definitely be uh, counting those up and see which one you guys want. But um, anyway, once again, thank you guys for watching. And hope you guys really enjoyed. Love you. Stay awesome. And I'll see you next time. Peace.